James Collado, congratulations. First ever winner on the new Silverstone circuit. Yeah, fantastic result. Uh, had a great qualifying this morning. Uh, managed to pull out two fantastic laps. Um, you know, very equal to each other, so very consistent, which is just what I needed to do. Um, the race had a very good start. Um, pulled away from Ollie for the first, say, half race. Uh, made a mistake. I think my front left tyre started to overheat quite badly, um, which caused me to lock up. Ollie was able to catch me up and uh, stay in my slipstream, so it was quite hard to break the gap again. But um, we had a good fight. Uh, defended on the inside of Brooklyn's and managed to keep the lead. So. Um, from there onwards, I kept my cool and uh, just sl slowly started edging away again. It must be particularly satisfying when you have had a battle like that with yeah, another driver. I mean, uh, we, it's kind of deja vu. We, we've done it before uh, in, in Renault numerous times. So, um, you know, was, I kind of knew what to expect from Ollie um, as he was my teammate in Renault. So, um, yeah, it was good. I mean, uh, really, really happy for the team as well. Um, the mechanic Dan, he's, he's over the moon. It's his first win, first pole. So. They're all very emotional, but um, yeah, it's great. So who, who usually used to win in Renault then when it was you and Ollie up against each other? Um, well, he won some races, I won some, but um, I think at the time, um, actually no, he, he, he overtook me once and uh, won one race, but I think I won the other one, so equal. But. A new battle again this year. This um, new Silverstone circuit, I mean, you were presumably fairly familiar with the old the old track, how would you describe the new one in comparison? Um, the, new one's, the new one's very difficult, it's quite a long circuit, so it's very hard on the tyres. Um, it's, it's, it's easy to get a good lap and it's very easy to drive when, you, when you've got the grip from the tyres, but as soon as the tyres start to wear, it's very, very difficult. Um, circuit generates a lot of understeer, so um, it's important to get good exit speeds, and uh, that's where Ollie had an advantage in the race, I think, uh, I had a lot of understeer, but you know, we can sort that out tomorrow. And um, you know, I'm looking forward to doing a, another good job. And is the car still in good shape for ready for um, tomorrow? Well, I was complaining on the radio that it sounded a little bit different. The engine, um, it did feel a slightly sluggish and started to hesitate. So um, we need to look at that. But maybe that's just due to the uh, delayed start, as we, we had the engines running for over three minutes. So um, the temperature was nearly 100 degrees, and uh, that's way too much. So possibly could have overheated, but. I mean, not to worry, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of spare engines in, in, in the truck and, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do tomorrow. How, how aware were you of the chaos that was going on behind you on I, the grid? I, I didn't know. I thought I, I came round thinking, you know, it, it was all normal. No one told me. I just saw a load of carbon bits, and so I'm still unsure of what happened, but it seems a bit, seems a bit silly to me, whatever it was. Unfortunate. So what, what does the rest of the afternoon hold for you? There's no more racing today, but presumably you're going to be busy getting ready for tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's just important to relax and, and chill out and um, prepare myself mentally, physically for tomorrow. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited, really happy about the win, but, you know, I've got to concentrate on doing as equal job tomorrow, so we'll see. Obviously, it's pole position for the 40-minute race, but we've got this sprint with the reverse grid. What do you make of the, uh, the mixed-up? Um, no, it's, it's good. I mean, um, it's entertaining. It produces more overtaking, which is what motorsport needs at the moment. And uh, I enjoy it. I mean, uh, I started last pretty much at every race at Alton, so I've got a little bit more experience on overtaking. But uh, no, there's no reason why I can't win it from eight tomorrow. You know, anything can happen, and uh, I'll just do my best. Will you be able to celebrate your win today, or will that have to wait until the oh, end of I think we'll have to wait until the end of the weekend. Uh, you know, there's still two more races, so uh, we'll celebrate if we can do. Nice, an equal job tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thanks.